Scott Farrar, visual effects supervisor at ILM Industrial Light Magic and recently having finished Transformers 4. I started Transformers 4 worried because I knew that just just the way the uh, game plan was set up, the amount of time that we would be shooting the film when we were starting, we started in May of uh, 2013 and it, we were going to go right through almost into November and that meant that the amount of post-production time was going to be truncated and we were doing more shots than we would have, had ever done before. Usually another company would have shared uh, some of the work and instead we were doing the lion's share of the work and there were 60% of the show was native stereo, the rest was converted. So there was more stereo, there was more, uh, uh, there was more IMAX, and I had a larger crew and a small amount of time to try and get the work done. So anyway, wrapping my head around, okay, this is gonna be an incredible challenge getting this thing done. So we, we really had to start from, uh, you know, in a, I think January, trying to figure out, okay, back time everything. In fact, all the models that have to have to be built, we had to staff up, I think, a larger staff of model makers by twice compared to the previous shows, just because we knew there was so much that had to be done quicker all the way along. So that was the biggest challenge. Just, I mean, day one, you're, you're worried about, are you gonna release the movie on time? And that's the main goal. I actually shot the first section of the movie, I started the whole movie with my own little mini unit in Iceland. And in the seven or eight years or so that I've been working with Michael, he has trusted me to do more and more. Uh, all, all the time on, on first unit, I'm with, in this case, Jacques Chouffray, the, the first camera operator, uh, helping him do the wheels or doing the shots and, and always talking with the guys. I'm with the camera people most of the time when we're shooting the movie and Michael trusts me to do that, to make sure that we've got the shots. He'll just say, did you get it? I said, we got it. And, and he doesn't look at the replay or anything and we move on. So he, the trust has increased through the films, which is really terrific. It's gratifying. So he trusted me to go and take my mini unit, with helicopter, IMAX, uh, two IMAX film cameras, and a ground crew and an aerial crew to Iceland and shoot for a week up there. Why? Because we wanted to have a primordial or a kind of a, a lost in time sort of a landscape. So Iceland was picked after lots of looking different places. Michael thought Hawaii had been used too much and you know our whole thing was to have dinosaurs somewhere so I went there. So it's a wonderful feeling that he said yeah you go do that and Everybody says, well, you must have had a lot of fun. No, there's a big monkey on your back. I've shown him all the stills. I went up there and scouted, talked through all the stuff that I think I'll do. But I've learned a lot of stuff from working with Michael. And that is just because you've decided, okay, this is what we've got. And this is our previs, And these are the angles. And, and I kind of have an idea what I'm going to shoot. Okay, I've got a basis of what I'm going to go there and shoot. But I know from having worked with Michael, I better look at that and if the light's different on the day or there's something about the landscape that doesn't seem the same as when I was there in the first place, change it. Shoot something different. Don't fly through it. Fly backwards. Do a, a left pan instead of right pan. Whatever it is, change it. Think, just always let the, the location speak to you. And, and this all goes back to things we've been talking about, art. It's always about the artistic concept of you you have to be fresh in the moment and some of that is you can't plan it you just have to go huh this is not what i had in mind but this over here looks fantastic we're going to shoot this guys let's go and that's what we would do and uh i'll tell you honestly it makes me feel really good that he loved what we did so and and you know that trust goes all the way through the whole making of the movie